It is December 10th, 2025, and we're tracking two cold fronts that are expected to bring a better chance for rainfall. One tonight into tomorrow. Another one could bring heavy rainfall Sunday into Monday. Hey, everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite. Pretty quiet out there. Not much going on, but all eyes again are on this very weak front that's off to the northwest. West. This is going to bring a better chance for showers. Again, not really heavy rainfall. It's going to be scattered showers for Kauai, Oahu, and parts of Maui County as we're going forward. This front is going to stall over Maui County and fall apart, so it doesn't look like Hawaii Island is going to be seeing much rainfall. It's much stronger up just a little bit further north of us. There's lower pressure in the atmosphere at the surface as we're going a little bit further north of us. I'll show you that in a little bit, but we're also watching off to the northwest of us. We're watching the development of another low pressure system that's going to develop up out here and then move to our north bringing potentially a stronger cold front that could be stalling over the western half of the state again there's a lot of uncertainty with this still but we are watching the trends pointing to potentially a wet weekend for uh, the western half of the state for Kauai and Oahu so let's take a look at what we're tracking uh, first alert for you uh, two front I promise you it's supposed to say two fronts we're watching two cold fronts out there not just two front uh, how funny is that? <laughs> Heavy rainfall possible Sunday into Monday with that second front that we're watching and a high surf advisory for north and west facing shores. I'll get to your surf and shoreline forecast coming up in a bit, but I want to show you the overall weather pattern. Here's a look at the surface pressure out there. Again, we've got low pressure directly to our north in that cold front that's just off to the northwest of us right now. Air is actually rotating closer to the center of that low pressure system, getting pulled up from the south. That's why we're seeing southwesterly winds across the bulk of the state. And then again, as we're playing this out forward, you are going to be seeing the development of another low pressure system just off towards our northwest. You can see that developing to the northwest of the island chain going into Friday and Saturday, potentially bringing another front that is expected to actually stall over Kauai and Oahu. Some of the fronts, the trends are pointing at a wetter day for Sunday and Monday and showers building in on Saturday. We're kind of entering an active weather pattern out there. We've got a trough at the mid-levels that's hanging around us right now. That's going to con continue to move up towards the northeast. Another trough moves in over the weekend, helping develop that stronger low pressure system. So the next one's going to have more upper level support. You can see Sunday, it's a little bit further south than the first trough we were taking a look at. This is Tuesday into Wednesday. Wednesday as well. Our upper level flow also playing out. Here's the uh, trough just to the north of us moving off towards the northeast and then going into Saturday and Sunday. We've got lower pressure digging down from the North Pacific that's going to be just to the northwest of us helping develop this low pressure system that's going to be right off to the northwest. So we're going to be seeing low pressure in the uh, low levels of the atmosphere, the mid levels of the atmosphere and the upper levels of the atmosphere playing in to that better chance for rainfall. Giving you a wide look at the first alert future cast. I'm going to show you this, uh, showing you that first front moving over Maui County going into Thursday, falling apart. Then you'll notice the winds shift being further southerly or being southerly going into Saturday and Sunday, pulling moisture and instability up from the south, giving a better chance for rainfall. This is Sunday around 3 a.m. The front's expected to stall around Sunday and Monday, so potentially a heavier rain chance expected over the western half of the state. The National Weather Service did send out a bulletin earlier today to all of its media partners saying that a flash flooding threat is growing. Like I mentioned, a lot of the moisture and instability that's going to get pulled up from the south is going to ride on top of that front. And as the front stalls, depending on where the front stalls, all of that rainfall is going to fall directly down. What goes up must come back down. So potentially a heavy rainfall event and flash flooding threat as we're going forward. So again, we are going to watch that evolve a lot over the next uh, few days. So there's still some uncertainty on where exactly the front is going to be stalling. But we're just giving you a heads up that it is starting to look a little bit more um, likely that we'll be seeing a wet Sunday and Monday with potentially some heavy rainfall out there. Our first alert future cast, this is the European weather model going into Wednesday night. Let's focus on that first front for a little bit. So as you're going into Wednesday night, you're seeing more showers over Kauai. That was around 7 to 11 p.m. We're seeing some showers just off to the northwest of the island right now. The front continues to move down to Oahu Thursday morning. So potentially as you're driving into work tomorrow, a few sprinkles out on the roadway and then moving down over to Maui County Thursday afternoon. 
also into Thursday evening out there. This is Friday around 9 a.m. The front again is going to fall apart. And again, like I mentioned, we're going to be seeing those southerly winds build in throughout Friday and Saturday, pulling up a lot of moisture. I see, sorry, I've, I have the hiccups, so I'm trying to try not to hiccup or um, I'll <laughs> on air. Hey, uh, we're going to be seeing, uh, again, the moisture getting pulled up, pushing the showers back up towards the north, pulling moisture and instability up from the south. And then we're going to be seeing this moisture again. Showers Saturday, Sunday, you're starting to see more rainfall over the western half of the state. It could potentially get heavy late Sunday night into Monday as well. So we've got to watch and fine tune the details on that. Any further than really Monday, there's still a lot that's going to happen. Um, a lot that's going to evolve in the weather forecast and the weather forecast models. Let's take a look at the GFS and show you what's going on because it's kind of uh, agreeing with the Euro on what's exactly going to happen. This first front again moves in late Thursday night for Kauai. So starting tonight around 8, 9 p.m. See a better chance for showers out there. Moving down to Oahu throughout early Thursday morning, midday, then Maui County Thursday afternoon falls apart. Southerly winds pulling up moisture from the south, giving us a better chance for showers on Saturday and then more heavy rainfall possible Sunday into Monday. And then the front could potentially move back up towards the northwest going into Tuesday. So a wet weather pattern is expected as we're going into the beginning of next week. Right now, ahead of the front that we have, we actually see overall southwesterly winds, more southerly winds over on Hawaii Island. And the front is just off to the northwest. You can see the northerly and northwesterly winds behind the front. The drastic shift in the weather pattern right here showing you exactly where the front is. And you can see that's going to play out again in our first alert wind cast. We're seeing northwesterly winds building in behind the front between 5 to 10 miles per hour southwesterly directly ahead of the front. This is Thursday around 6 p.m. going into Friday. Then we're starting to see winds shift to be out of the south going into Saturday as that moisture and instability is getting pulled up ahead of the next front. Our first alert VOG forecast you can also see as the front moves down, the VOG gets pulled up towards the northeast because of the southwesterly winds. So really VOG is going to be of concern over near Hilo, the Hamokua Coast, Puna, Pahua, Pahoa, excuse me, and then also Maui County, Oahu, and Kauai, not seeing a ton of VOG out there. Another thing that we're talking about, our high surf advisory, you can see on north and west facing shores. That's going to be the case until 6 p.m. on Thursday. All of this energy that was behind the first front, the weaker front, gets put in towards north and west facing shores. The details in our surf and shoreline forecast for tomorrow morning, north facing shores around 14 to 18 feet, west facing shores around 9 to 12, another reinforcements due tomorrow, south facing shores around 2 to 4, east facing shores around 1 to 3. You can see that energy that is actually moving off towards the southeast. And we're really not expecting another swell to be moving in until we see that next front that's going to be Sunday into Monday. Breaking down your island by island forecast, hoping to give you kind of a, uh, a look at the timeline through this as well. Over on Kauai for your Thursday, it's supposed to say, or it is saying uh, December 11th out there. Showers in the early morning, again, we'll be seeing most of the moisture moving out by tomorrow afternoon for Kauai. Showers are likely on Oahu, mostly cloudy out there. It's not going to be a complete washout for everybody. West northwesterlies between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Southwesterlies will become more northwesterly in the afternoon over on Maui County, moving over to Maui proper. Again, it's going to be a scattered rainfall event for everybody. It's not going to be a complete washout out there. 66 in Kahului, 84 uh, for a high temperature over in Kahului as well, 82 in Kihei in the afternoon, Kailua Kona still seeing sunny conditions, isolated showers, luckily with the southwesterly winds, a little bit of a break from the fog, but still seeing some haze out there tomorrow, hazy and foggy over on the Hilo side of Hawaii Island, variable winds between 5 to 10 miles per hour. The northern portions of Hawaii Island will be sunny. West and southwesterly is between 5 to 15 miles per hour. So again, there's a lot that we're going to be talking about over the next couple of days. We're watching those two fronts. Uh, today, we're really just kind of seeing the trends coming together. Uh, and I'm going to continue to fine-tune the details on the forecast over the next couple of days. But really, even when the NWS is sending out bulletins this early in advance, it's showing you that the weather models are... Coming together, we're seeing a trend that is pointing to heavy rainfall Sunday into Monday, showers on Saturday, and again, a better chance for rainfall tonight as well with that first week front. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. And please comment comment where you're watching from. We, uh, I am so, so grateful. I, uh, I don't know how to express how awesome it is to 
show that we've uh, we've built a community on this little YouTube page that I, I've started as kind of a side project. So thank you. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm listening to you guys in the comments. I'm reading every single comment. So thank you again for uh, sending those in. And I will uh, I will see you tomorrow, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.